Hello, my sweet ones out there. I celebrate every one of you this afternoon. I greet you no matter the country where you are. Inasmuch the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, we that dwell therein. Distance is not a barrier. I pray for you this afternoon. As you walk on the earth, the earth will yield increase for you. Why the heavens will bless you. The air we, you breathe in will carry favor to your direction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My identity asks me to tell you this afternoon that you are blessed. The only thing you just need to know is to know yourself and know what is written of you. Yes. So he says, I should tell you, if you hunker your life on him, you cannot be miserable in life, no matter what people try to do. And he also asked me to tell you that is the name that is approved in heaven, on earth, even beneath the earth, by which men will be saved. If you know you have not accepted him as your Lord and personal Savior, please do so, because the days are evil. You see husbands using their wife for rituals. You see children these days killing fathers and mothers for things that will not last the test of time. You see friends using friends for rituals. Why? Because of money. But they refuse to remember that on earth here, why we were coming, we came naked. And when we are going back, we will go naked. None of us is taking anything out of the earth. Let it dawn on you. So that you stop doing things that you are not supposed to do because of money. I celebrate you this afternoon because money is good. When you look for it in a genuine way, it will look for you. Yes, it will look for you. Because the word of God says, in your house shall be wealth and riches. Remember that your gate is open day and night. That men might bring the riches of nation to your dwelling. I celebrate you, darling. A voice from the wealthy dwelling place this afternoon, Prophetess Evangelist and Philip Okoduga. I celebrate you. What we do here on this channel, the wealthy dwelling place, is to talk about spiritual things. Things that we do not look at. Things that we do not pay attention to. Some things that are happening around us, we are beginning to imagine. Are you sure? Sometimes your spirit search it out. When you see it, you say, I beg, nothing will happen. And now somebody, now they do one. Now lie. Sit down and brood on it. Then take action by praying and fasting. By so doing, so many things will begin to unveil itself to you. Sweetheart, this afternoon, I want to talk about your identity, your image. This is my picture, your image. This is my dress, your image, your shoe, your image, your hair tie. Anything you put in your body that you have given out to people is your image. The one somebody came to collect from you, some of them will use it and bring it back for you. You don't know what has been built into that clothes. Some will take it, they won't give it to you. They will use it to do whatsoever they want to do. Honey, you need to pray and break loose from them. Where are your pictures? Which altars are your pictures? These are the questions you should ask yourself. When you are seeing yourself falling and rising, falling and rising, sit down, ask questions, take stock of your life and when those things started. Sometimes there are people you just need to let go. Whether they be your brothers, your sisters, your auntie, your cousin, your friends. Because they are your worst enemy. Bible says mass enemies are members of his household. Those people that knows you very well. They are your most enemies that you should be scared of. Honey, we want to talk about our garments. Our picture. Our shoes. Where they be. Which altar they don't carry your image go? Some of them they will make calf 
Some of them, they will represent you with doors. They will write your name on it and call it your name. And those people that does it, they have a wase in their mouth. Native daughters, prophets, evil pastors that are standing in the altars. Native daughters that have converted to become pastors. A lot of them are doing a lot of atrocities in the altar. So honey, use natural things to beautify your life. We can see the story that I'm talking about now. We talk about our garments. Yes, when you go to the book of Genesis chapter 27, if you read verse 15, you see where the mother of Esau took the garment, he said the golden garment of Esau, and gave it to the younger brother. Exchange of destiny. Immediately the boy wore the dress, Esau became a scapegoat. He was wandering in the bush looking for meat to kill sweetheart a lot of people in abroad they are scapegoats a lot of men women they are scapegoats by parents and at first speaking you'll be is as a, you feel even be second you feel even be third when anything they happen now you back, 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 you they house there you go run for this one and they say brother nowhere you go run sister daddy you go run uncle daddy now you they run you are my darling, you cannot be scapegoat. Are you hearing me? Get sense. Scapegoat. Now goat when everybody for family, they put their body on. They'll lay hand upon her. When they don't finish, they'll drive her enter wilderness. That was what the mother of Esau did. He drive her enter wilderness. Go and begin to search for. While Esau was searching for meat that he wants to use to prepare food for his father, to bless him. The mother went to carry the garment, the golden garment of Esau, the thing that represents his aura. When, 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 when people come out and Esau wear that garment, it will be smelly filled because that is his identity. They gave the clothes, the dress to the younger brother to wear. Immediately the brother wear the dress, it became Esau. Because the father will ask him in verse 25, Are you my real son, Esau? He said, Yes, daddy, I am. A lot of people is using your garment to collect your glory spiritually. You don't know. Pray against it this afternoon. Some of them don't tie your shoe. Go keep. They say, I said to come pull leg for this shoe. Now you go walk out. Pray against it. Your pictures are speaking upon in the altars. Pray against this. If you don't know what to pray, use the book of Psalm 35 and Psalm 91. Use it to pray. Psalm 35. Use it to pray because it's a very good scripture. He said, plead my case, oh God. Use it to pray. Tell Baba, make it help you. Close when you don't dash people. Sometimes when you they sleep, you say, person, they wear your cloth. And the person they behave like you out of goodwill, you give clothes to somebody, you can't go pervert and they use them against you. Let me see, we catch up with that person. Anybody, when you give shoe, anybody, when you give cloth, anybody that you gave your hair tie to, anybody that collected anything that belongs to you from goodwill, you gave it out, and the person went to use it on the other way. Mother, it we fight against the person. Yes, mother it. Is it your money they collected from you? They take her for your hand. They say, yes, you don't give me money. I'm going to tie it and keep it. Mother it will rise against such one with calamity. I want to encourage you, sweetheart. Wheresoever your picture has entered, some of you, they'll say, your mama will say, bring the picture. Come. This one will say, bring her. So we'll pick her from Facebook now till they do evil. My own picture, somebody snapped me picture in a wealthy and took it to where he was not supposed to take it to. <laughs> when he gets to the place, the person told him, I wasn't there, but God revealed to redeem. They know they use lion to sacrifice. Honey, my picture for wedding. Now he snapped the picture, go use and do what he won't use and do. But thank God for God, that at the end of the day, in the collect woto woto from God's hand. Why is it possible 
I don't do evil. If you they do evil, turn away from it. So that when you pray, your prayers will be answered. If you see people, they progress, you they verse, turn away. If you hear somebody name, your belly they pull, turn away. If you see somebody, if they enjoy, you they verse, turn away. If somebody is richer than you, the best thing you will do is to ask that person, bros, how you tell the maker? If he not show you, sweetheart, God will direct somebody to your path that will show you. There are some people who God do not want anybody to take glory in their life, except him may be God. Honey, pray this afternoon. Pray your prayer yourself. Anywhere that your garment has entered, when you open to that Psalm 35, use it to pray. Anywhere your garment has entered, anywhere when your shoe day, anywhere when they cut your hair put, anywhere when they cut your fingernails, that altar when your picture day, when did they speak upon, today in the name of Jesus, you reverse it. You set the fire of God upon it. In the mighty name of Jesus, sword of God, help me go. Go and fight for me. Sweetheart, if you want to make it authentic, take any of your dress when you know the two they use again. If possible, the one when you knew, when you they use wear wear, when you they wear sleep your night gown, when they always do your body, remove her. Take your slippers. Just hold your hair small. If you comb, if you comb your hair, if they follow comb now, cut small for it. I know me don't want for local by yourself. Just hold and cut and small. Are you getting me? Gather them together. Gather, put that your shoe, put the dress, put your picture, set it on fire and begin to pray. Any altar, anywhere when my, when my picture day, anybody when they use my image, they do anything. Whether they cover me, whether na door they put her, whether na my picture it be, whether na my shoe, whether na my dress, na my earring, they measure your things. When they for people hand, they put her for evil altar. They use that they represent you. Anywhere when it day, oh God, as I said this to of fire. I said the altar of fire. I said those clothes of fire. Physically and spiritually I said them of fire. Anybody when they wear my cloth, they represent me spiritually. It, it be witch, they wear my cloth. It be marine, they wear my cloth. They wear my shoe to withhold my glory. To withhold my business, my, my prosperity. Anything where concern me when somebody don't use negatively. As these things they born, I said I'm on fire. But by letter I affect them. Physically and spiritually. Physical, begin to pray. Are you hearing me? When you finish burning them, enter your house. Buy sugar, seven. Put her for water. Add salt, join her. Use a bath. Use a bath. As you bath in it, that make your body dry. Sweetheart, don't do it once and rest. A lot of people, other people's shadow is shadowing them. If you read the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 15. You discover where the shadow of Peter was shadowing every other people. His own was doing good because he was healing people. But others can use it for evil. They want to be the one to reign. Only them. They will tell you, say, as far as they did this house. Uh -uh. Now when they talk, now you go reach. Anybody when stand for that matter, they talk and they go. Eight go fight against them. He said, uh-uh. If you get, I get. The other one get. Not be enjoyment. Everybody go day. But by the time you can't get, you say you won't use and punish others. Now punish. God said because of this that you have done, I the Lord will punish you. God will help you punish that man. Go punish the woman. Go punish the boy. Go punish the girl. It is scriptural. So honey, don't keep quiet. Most especially you, you people that are in diaspora. Pray your prayers yourself. Then by the time you now discover a lot of, a lot, a lot is happening. A lot of people are going through things that they don't, they cannot even trace out because of the evil family that we are coming out from. Brothers are jealousy brothers. Sisters are envy sisters. Friends will come to your house. They just say you look good. They don't know whether they're packaging. Some of us, they drink our Zobo with pride. Yes. Because the difference between Zobo and red wine, not the bottle. Some of us, some people will just call, they don't, they, they don't even know if it is Zobo you are drinking. They'll say, eh, this afternoon, don't they drink red wine? <laughs> Honey, pray your prayer. If you know, you know. 
take things from earth. These things I ask you to take, they will represent a token in your hand. Now your token, now they put for altar. So your shoe, your picture, your cloth, your hair, your finger, your abba. By yourself, revoke it. Pray against it and set fire on it. It will affect the altars when they put her. I celebrate you this afternoon. Don't forget to pray with Psalm 35. It's a very powerful scripture. Use it almost every day of your life if your hand is pure. But if your hand not pure, if you don't, it will backfire against you. In case you have done all this and it's not working, I will advertise our spiritual soaps. We do them from herbs, natural, organic herbs. Lose me and let me go. Equable plus. Love and attraction. Stability soap. Harm me not. Which is on the run. We have them all. There is this organic uh, wood that I prepare. You can put it in your cream. I use it to rub. You'll be purified. Yes. Jesus said, all these enemies, when he said they're not leave me alone, bring them and slay them before me. The battle we are fighting is just not past me. I don't want to make you pass me. Let me the battle when we defy nothingness. So please, darling, pray for yourself. And again, I want to beg you, if you love me, subscribe. Not only subscribe, you know that YouTube, when they see you liking somebody's page, they will be posting it more. Please help me to like. I beg you, like now. Just like, like, like it. Post it. Help me to share. Tell people about the wealthy dwelling place. Okay? I celebrate you, Dali. In case you want to reach me on WhatsApp, it's plus two three four. 9071351350. I repeat, plus 234 9071851350. Plus 234 9071851350. My WhatsApp number. Honey, I want to see your comments down below. Encourage us so that when they search, they bring out things for you. And I know as you write down with the tokens when you they take for it. Because those people waiting then they use, not be tokens. Now tokens then they use now. Yes. Go bring good. Go bring foul. Go. Now tokens. Our own now be say we get secret blood. That's why we know they share blood anymore. The blood of Jesus. Okay? So take a token from the earth and use for yourself. God bless you. Remain on top always. You cannot come down and nothing will bring you down. Anybody will say no will leave you alone. Will go down while you rise. In Jesus' name. Amen.